Today I'll be writing the solution for the problem maximum distance to closest person. Okay, so it's an easy level problem. So as I've already explained the logic, so I'll start writing the code. So first I need totally five variables. So initially I'll need previous one, which will be initialized as minus one. And then I need future, which is zero. Then I need an answer. These are return variable. Initially it will be zero. So then I start traversing the given input. First thing I check is if the current seat, whatever am I sitting at or whatever I am iterating at, if it is in one. So in this case, my previous becomes I. Then I continue. So now let's say we have found the previous one. So we need to find where's the future one. So for that, we start a while loop where we have two conditions. One is future should not be out of bound. So future should be less than the seats dot size. And if seats dot future is equal to zero. So we go on increment till that. Or the second condition is if future is less than I. In both the cases, we just keep incrementing our future. So at the end of this, we have the previous and future pointing to the exact ones where the previous one is and the future one is. So we need to calculate left and right now. For left, we have a condition if previous is still equal to the initialization value, which was minus one. Then we assign to seats dot size. If not, we do I minus previous. So if anybody has not watched my explanation for this logic, please go and watch the explanation video first. The link is in the description below so that, so then you can come back to this uh, coding video and you'll understand this properly. So right, we check if future is equal to seats dot size. If it is, then equal to seats dot right, else future minus i. Okay, then we have our answer as maximum of answer comma minimum of left comma right. Then we return the answer. Let's sum it and see if this works fine. Oops. This is colon. Let's sum it again. this works fine so the runtime is 32 milliseconds or the time complexity in this case is in the worst case it's o of n n being the site n being the size of the seats or the number of elements in the seats vector so this is one of the important problem it's an easy level problem please do solve it yourself to connect with me please connect via instagram the link is in the description below and do like share and subscribe until next time keep learning every day bye bye